All right, everybody, welcome to the 2019 SEMA show in Las Vegas, where we're here to answer your burning questions. You know, stuff like, can the aftermarket save the 2020 Toyota Supra? And did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? Let's go find out. All right, my favorite thing is at SEMA, you end up bumping into a lot of people. Look here. Hi, guys. It's Misha in from Germany, and everybody's dying to know, did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? Uh, well, as a Russian, I'm not allowed to say much. <laughs> he killed him. <laughs> so there you have it. We, we solved that mystery. And uh, other than that, lots of Supras here. Yeah, a lot. I, I believe like 234,000 of them here. Yeah, yeah, there's a yeah, lot. Something like so there's like 1,500 that they made. Yeah. There's like 900 for sale and the other 600 yeah. are here. Yeah, two guys, me and another guy from Germany, were like, we're going to sell ours because yeah. everyone has them now. Does anyone, uh, how's it rent? Uh, we actually uh, give it to a guy who's like dating it now because okay. we're like, Nobody. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it. <laughs> from all angles. All right, I found the foremost expert in Supra body kits. Oh, yeah. And there is a question everybody's dying to know. This is TJ Hunt, if you don't know him. Yeah, yeah. But uh, everybody's really curious, did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? You know, uh, that's a very political question, and uh, I'm happy to say uh, I, I'm not, I don't even really, I'm not that involved in all that stuff. I, don't I think even, we found a customer, actually. Uh, I'm like so, Very political. I'm so, like, not even engaged with, I couldn't even speak accurately about what happened, so I don't really, I don't. I've seen I'll, I'll help you. Everyone. He didn't. Okay. <laughs> he didn't. I've seen all. I don't understand the memes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not caught up. All right. So we're here in the Magnaflow booth about to podcast. We got Freddie Tavares here. How you doing? And he's seen the show. You've been around. Yeah. Did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? Let's see what we got. A lot of people would think he's doing this to show off the engineering. I think he's doing this because he didn't finish it. This no, not this guy. Him near this. This is cool. I saw the other half of this car three years ago here. <laughs> the other half of it. The other half, yeah. He, he just brings half at a time. Yeah. Wait, he brought the body and just he brought the down body, ghost? The body without this, now he's got this without the body. So. <laughs> Get three years from now, he'll bring it all together. <laughs> all right, so as somebody who has built the car and obviously has some sort of knowledge and considerable knowledge Thank you. Thank you. in engineering, Thank you very much. Uh, you're, you're now sort of, a, whether correct or not, a trusted voice. <laughs> So, um, I'm curious as to uh, whether or not uh, Epstein killed himself. Um, you know, it's my professional opinion after looking at the intercooler piping and the travel and suspension that he definitely did not kill He did not kill himself. No. Yeah, that was, that was a definitive answer. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, yeah. I think bringing something that's not a Supra is sort of valuable to this channel, especially because this car hits so close to home. So let me give you a little tighter view as to the stuff that I see that, let's not say troubles me, but stuff I see as a competitive guy that are shortcomings that he may run into. Now remember, this car is not done yet. Uh, I don't know what 
form of complete this is going to see. Uh, I don't know if this is good, just going to be open here. I don't. I genuinely have no idea how he's going to finish this car. But if he has a fuel tank, that's. I just want to say that's a four gallon. I don't know, four, four maybe five gallon fuel tank. I don't think he's going to get too far, uh, especially with the amount of fuel this is sucking up. I mean, that is, that is a drag racing tank right there, because you could top it off and, and murder half of that down a pass. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I, it's, you, you know, you see guys work on things. You look at how much time and effort John Hennessy puts into designing a car, Koenigsegg, or anything. And then you got Rob. And this isn't, like, objectively, my car. I took a platform that existed, and I put things on it. I swapped the parts, I broke whatever was still standing and replaced it. This is, this is all custom. So, you have to question whether, obviously, it looks really nice, but how it'll work together, if it'll work together. And... That is something I'm excited to see, and hopefully I can see that by February, because I mean, it's cool. It's almost like seeing the workings. Most of the stuff is usually covered up, but he decided to keep a dash for some reason. This fire comes out of it. But I mean, obviously, no belts. There's, there's a lot that needs to be done. And when you get this thing moving, you're going to now question when it is moving, uh, what works together, what doesn't work together. And it's going to be a lot of trial and error. I think it's going to be a lot of trial, error, and breaking stuff, which he's good at. This, you got to do something with that. Cause... There are my glasses. Gone forever. So I'm excited. Uh, if there's anyone I'm always eager to race and beat, I love these. These clear window foil things, awesome. Uh, if there's anyone I'm excited to beat, it's Rob. Uh, right now, I can only beat myself because my car is running and his isn't. So we'll cross our fingers that by February, and I'll bring other people out as I always do, by February, this will be some shape that we can at least race. Now, the good thing about me and Rob racing is there's a 70% chance either of us or either or both of us will break or catch fire. And I think that will remain true. But stay tuned and we'll see what happens. But congratulations for getting into this point. I, I don't give him enough credit, but I, I don't know if this, this presentation was done out of necessity or desire or maybe a little bit of both. But at least he's got the car here and it is complete with most of the components he needs to actually run it. And last but not least, we got the Stradman. And let's just say, I see the familiar approach everyone takes for the Supra slash BMW. And whether or not it looks great or not, everybody does the body kit. They just try to take the car, make it look a little bit more like the fourth gen Supra, which I don't even know if that's required, but we've learned that no matter what you bolt on to the Supra, it doesn't necessarily make it a Supra. Still, still fundamentally the problem I have with it is it's primarily BMW driving experience, not what it looks like. It's primarily a BMW driving experience. And the fact that there's just say 200 of them here at SEMA and then 900 of them for sale means virtually every car that's out there is either on display here or somebody's trying to get rid of it. So as we head out of SEMA now, we've learned three things. One, Rob's car is not done, but it's getting closer. Two, everybody's trying to modify the Supra, but it's still not cool. And three, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Rob Ferretti, thanks for watching. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.